Square up with the uh, floor. It's not bad, is it? For quite some time, whenever I've said that I'm from Norwich, quite often I've got, aha, that's where Alan Partridge is from, isn't it? It's a bit odd that Norwich is, is known mostly for a fictional character. And um, that's really what got us thinking about how fun it would be to build a statue of him, and a golden statue at that. I'm not quite sure about this. But the first major issue that we had is Alan's availability. He's a busy man. Luckily, we've got a friend who is the same size and build as Alan, so we roped him in. So once we've decided on the pose, Nick set about sculpting a portrait in his studio, and I set about sculpting the figure in my studio. So the first part of the process is building the armature, which is made up of scaff tube, conduit, chicken wire, packed out with newspapers. And then you begin packing yeah. out with clay. Although we prepared everything and measured as we were going along, it was still very much a heart in mouth moment when we put the head on the body. But it, luckily it looked pretty good straight away. Well, but once we put the head on the figure and took a step back, it was like... It's great, Nick. Yeah, looks all right. It's going to work. From the start, we were both pretty motivated, I'd say. I was coming back on weekends, working on the figure in the studio in Norwich, and you were kind of steamed ahead with the portrait. But then, you know, life gets in the way, other work projects. Yeah, you run out of steam a bit. Long periods of time, it, it was... Um, dormant. Yes, dormant, yes. It's sitting in uh, your friend's mum's house, wasn't it, for, for instance? So once the clay sculpture was complete, the pressure then switched to the moulding and casting process. Quite a, an anxious moment really when you put a mould together, you're not quite sure how it's, the seam lines are going to look and how much tidy up work there's going to be. Yeah, yeah go, go on. Um. So the final step was to make a plinth. Yes, we wanted an extra large plinth to make him uh, like a London monument, or a public monument, a, a Norwich monument. Having it put up today with the guys that helped us, it's quite a moment actually, and quite fitting that the sun 
came out after quite a rainy, drizzling morning. Just at the right moment, the sun came out and made him glow golden with a great backdrop of the, of the forum behind him as well. It was, uh, it was a really special moment, yeah. So was it all worth it, Nick? Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> I think so. We know all the steps to building a, a full figure like that. To actually go through it and bring it to, to a fruition was a, was a great achievement, I think, especially for two guys with limited resources. I completely agree. It's like no matter how how well or badly it's received, it's like yeah, we did that. When you saw this statue, what went through your mind? I was flabbergasted. And when I heard it's been cast in brass, I think, which is, is fantastic. I hope it will encourage people to take up uh, <laughs> to put down their video screens and take up brass instruments. And that would be a very good thing. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it'd be nice if we had a permanent place in in Norwich and Norfolk, a, a, a county which I'm very fond of, having got to know it through Alan Partridge. It's quite magnificent. I think the the, the Norfolk tourist board should uh, embrace it and uh, you know make it work for them. Oh, I've just seen Nick and Gavin. I've just seen Nick give Gavin a thumbs up um, there because um, you're obviously very obviously very pleased. Must be breathing a bit of a sigh of relief, really, because this is from the, the words of the mouth and the words from the mouth of the man himself. Oh, that's amazing. Doesn't get much better than that. Thanks a lot, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well done.